of entire sanctification that is our Wesleyan ethos and it is the truth of Scripture. Such a drift would minimize the importance of a clear crisis of death to self and the infilling of the Spirit subsequent to the new birth. Followed by an experience of beautiful growth and grace across the life. Such a drift would abandon the insistence upon a crisis of entire sanctification and in its place substitute a nondescript process. Drift. Vision. In order to have a vision forward, WBS must have a clear vision of our past, our history, our distinctives, and the reasons for which God has raised us up. We must understand why we have a right to exist. And our right to exist is based upon the distinctives upon which we were founded. In recent days, we've been reading some of the archival papers of Dr. Ivan Howard. We've read some of the writings of Dr. Eldon Furman. We've been pulling things out as we've been moving offices around the, the building. And Rob brought some papers into me just this week. And we wept. Because we have a passion to be true to our distinctives. We are a Wesleyan Holiness Seminary that believes in the inerrant and authoritative Word of God, the Holy Bible. If in a misplaced quest for respectability and recognition, we drift toward the mainstream of evangelical Protestantism, Protestantism and seek to become just a generic evangelical institution, we lose our right to exist. There are other seminaries that can do generic evangelical Protestantism better than we can. But if we remember who we are and why God raised us up, we can be great for the glory of God. And that's my passion. For Jesus' sake. Mission, team, vision. That's why I believe in Wesley Biblical Seminary. I believe that Wesley Biblical Seminary is poised to be the premier Wesleyan holiness institution in the world. To advance the message of scriptural holiness as founded upon the inerrant and authoritative word of God, the Holy Bible. Would you join me in that passion? Would you join me in that pursuit for the glory of God? Now why do we want to make this endeavor so great and so significant? Is it so that we can advance our own name for our own sake? God forbid God forbid the indulgence in such empty vanity. Any favor, any measure of success, any preeminence that God would be pleased to smile upon Wesley Biblical Seminary and to allow us to achieve must be for the glory of God, the advancement of Christ's kingdom, and the spread of scriptural holiness until He comes again. Amen and amen.